Why I Hate Michael Gove. In this irregular series, I'm looking into why I personally find Michael Gove to be one of the most repugnant Tories ever. We've looked at his use of obfuscation. The key thing about levelling up is that it's about more than one ingredient. So uh, transport matters, infrastructure matters. This answer was in response to how cutting HS2 will affect levelling up. Uh, but within that, it's also the case that links within and between northern and midland cities matter. And more than just infrastructure, levelling up involves research and development spend being spent more effectively. It involves the devolution of power to local leaders who can help to transform their areas. It involves improving education and skills. I could go on, but I hope that the point is, is made that you cannot simply look at one ingredient um, and say that that is the only test of levelling up. There's this disgusting recording that was unearthed when Gove was in his 20s, made to the Cambridge Union. We are at last experiencing a new empire. An empire where the happy south steps over the cruel, dirty, toothless face of the northerner. But today I want to talk about his involvement in the Michel Moan PPE scandal. Now, there's no proof at the moment that it was Gove who helped secure Moan's bid to provide PPE. But watch this interview, as he's definitely hiding something and also refuses to offer any contrition at all. Anyway, let's take a look. Talk to me about Michelle Moan. Uh, what do you remember about the PPE contract with uh, Michelle Moan when she approached you? How did that conversation go? Well, during the pandemic, there were lots of people who were approaching us with offers of uh, PPE. Um, I referred all of them to... Uh, the appropriate civil service channels in order to make sure that the uh, PPE that we were being offered was of sufficient quality and could be sourced in time. It was uh, a procurement process which every offer went through in order to assess... But she did approach you uh, with your personal email, no? Well, lots of people approached me. Um, but, um, and personal email? Uh, yeah, there were lots of people who approached me, whether it was through email, text, um, or, uh, or uh, 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 in the precincts of the House of Commons or wherever to uh, uh, say that they could help us. Because, as you'll remember at the time, um, not just in the United Kingdom, um, but across Europe, uh, we needed to source PPE quickly. Um, and uh, anyone who approached me, I said, thank you very much, and made sure that uh, their, uh, uh, their efforts to help were referred to the appropriate officially run independent channel to assess whether or not the PPE that they were offering um, was value for money. Hmm, his response seems like it's been rehearsed. And why rehearse something if you've got nothing to hide? Again, there's no proof that Gove is responsible, but he seems so shifty here. So what do you remember about the personal email that she sent you? Um, uh, that she was one of uh, a, a huge number of people who were approaching the government at the time uh, who were... So you don't remember specifically her approaching you? Uh, I remember lots of people approaching me. Do you remember her specifically approaching you? Uh, I do remember. Um, the, the thing about um, uh, Baroness Moan is that, uh, 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 you know, uh, as you know, she's a strong personality. Um, but there were lots and lots of other people who approached me as well. Anyone who approached me, I thanked and then made sure that they went through the appropriate process so that anyone's claim was assessed not by me as an individual, but by an independent process. Well, that independent process was pretty rubbish, wasn't it? The company that was linked to Moan and her husband had only just been created. OK, but what do you remember about her personal approach to you? What do you remember about that email? Uh, that I remember that she was uh, keen to ensure that uh, PPE, which the government needed at that time, was provided. So you can't remember exactly what she said? Uh, well, lots of people approached me at the time. I'm asking about her specifically. Yeah, I know. Um, and I'm saying that lots of people approached me. So uh, uh, what I can recall is that she said that the, uh, there was an organisation that she believed would be able to provide PPE for the government. And I said to her, as I said to everyone, thank you very much, that's very kind. We do need PPE, but I'm not the person who can make that decision as to whether or not this contract should be awarded. Back to the thank you very much line. Now, let's get on to how he feels about millions of pounds being wasted through him passing on Mona's details to those in charge of giving the PPE contracts. Does he feel sorry? OK, but you did forward on that uh, that contact. And... It, oh, yeah, as, as I did with lots okay, of people. because I'm because my view, about her. Yeah, specifically about her. How do you feel about the fact that millions of pounds was wasted because of that introduction? Well, uh, I, I don't know uh, uh, the 
detail of what happened once that uh, bid was referred, because question. it was nothing to do... Not my question, Minister. My question is, how do you feel about the fact that millions of pounds were subsequently wasted because of an introduction that you uh, were first approached and then made to uh, other members of government? Wasted in what way? Well, because uh, apparently it was, uh, quite a lot of it wasn't fit for purpose. Well, again, the, the, I regret the fact that any PPE that was purchased was not fit for purpose, but my recollection is that the overwhelming majority of PPE that we did uh, buy was fit for purpose at that time. Case. We're talking about this specific case, mm. and uh, it was a £200 million contract. Mm. Um, some suggestions that she made £19 million personally, you know, that's alleged. I don't have the facts no. that can compare firm that or otherwise, but what we can say is a lot of that PPE uh, was subsequently not fit for purpose and it was an introduction through you. How do you feel about that in hindsight? What do you think? Was he sorry in any way? Um, well, I regret the fact that uh, any PPE that we sourced was not fit for purpose, but the job that I was doing at the time was to make sure that uh, at the time when uh, we were facing a terrible pandemic, that anyone who wanted to help anyone who was making an offer of PPE was referred to the right channel. Um, I would have hoped that you or I, if someone said, I can provide PPE, that we would have said, great, the thing to do is to go to this official government process, to go through this procurement gateway, to have the quality of uh, the contract that you're seeking to secure assessed. I understand, but I'm asking where, how sorry you are now that actually all that money was wasted because of an introduction that was made by you. Um, I, the first thing I was going to say is that um, uh, I introduced lots of people, so of course I regret the fact that there was any that was wasted, but, but what you're trying to imply is that um, it no, was no, my... I'm just asking you how you feel about it. I mean, I would be mortified if it had been me. Yes, exactly. Accept it and show some remorse. It's so obvious he's trying to wriggle out of any responsibility. Um, uh, because... Uh, because there's a lot of money that's been wasted. Yes, of course it is. And, of course, the, the, one of the things is that none of us want that money to be wasted, but the, the, uh, uh, the problems that we had with PPE at the time meant that we were anxious to secure contracts from everyone. The fact that some contracts meant that some of the material that was uh, so it's procured a was not that was up to standard. Made in haste. Hmm? A decision that was made in haste. Um, well, everyone was making that decision. Doesn't uh, mean it, it's correct. <laughs> uh, everyone was making that decision on the basis of what individual organisations put forward and what the independent process decided. I did not decide to award that contract. You didn't. Ugh, I hate him. Click here for the Michel Moan PPE scandal.